Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn strategist, trainer, and coach. And I was asked by a client, so Teddy, how do I add my LinkedIn profile URL to my email signature? So I'm gonna show you how to do this on Outlook 365 um, in the Outlook app. And I'm gonna show you how to add your LinkedIn profile URL to your Google or Gmail account uh, through Chrome web browser. So let's first go to Outlook. So here's my Outlook, and then I wanna add my LinkedIn profile URL to my email signature. So you gotta first go to Outlook and Preferences. Now I'm doing this on a Mac, so I'm doing Preferences on a Mac. But you want to get to your Outlook preferences and you want to find signature. And once you find signature, go in there. And then click the signature you want to edit and you hit your edit button. Now it brings up this dialog box and make it a little bit bigger. And in this dialog box, I can put my entire signature. So hang on while I put my entire signature. Now I want to add my email address and when I, I want to add my LinkedIn profile URL. So when I add my email address, look what happens. And I hit enter and it resolves it. It makes it a hyperlink. So now that's a hyperlink. Now when I add my LinkedIn profile URL and when I hit enter, it makes it a hyperlink. So on Outlook, it's really that easy. Type in your LinkedIn profile URL. Hopefully you've customized it so it's a smaller set of numbers without the, excuse me, a smaller set of characters without the number hanging off on the end. By the way, if you want a really powerful tip, think about using a handle, like I use TL Burris. Use a handle for your LinkedIn profile URL, the same handle you use for everything else. So for me, TL Burris is on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, Google+, Pinterest, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's really cool branding if you can pull that off. But anyway, then you just type in your LinkedIn profile URL, uh, and when you hit enter, it will already automatically resolve it and make it a hyperlink. Now, if you want to clean it up, you can get rid of these characters here and just have the www. Makes it cleaner. It also, if you really want to be sophisticated, then what you could do is you could say this. And then with that, you can highlight it and hit Control K or Command K and put the, the URL in the address and hit, once you put the URL in there, you can just hit OK. And then you can have the hyperlink be on that text. And then when you're done, I'm looking for the Save button. There it is right there, it's the save icon. And now I can hit the X and there's my signature. So now that I have it in my email signature, now what I have to do is say, where do I use it? Do I use it for new messages? Use standard. And do I use it for forwards and replies? And use standard. So what I, I recommend you use the same email signature on all messaging you do so that people never have a problem finding your phone number your email address, and your LinkedIn profile. Now when I send an email, you'll see the email signature will be at the bottom of the screen. All right, that's Outlook. So let me go into Google now and show you how to add your LinkedIn profile URL to your Google Gmail, your Google Workplace email. So under Settings, which is Sprocket, click on See All Settings. Once you're in see all settings, you're under general, scroll down near the bottom and, and you'll see here's my email signature right here. So um, my name, my company, my title, and there's my LinkedIn profile URL. Now what I did was the same concept. I put Teddy Burris on LinkedIn there and I made it a hyperlink. And if you click on that, you'll see there's the hyperlink to my LinkedIn profile URL. But again, I could just as easily put the URL and when I uh, highlight it and hit Control K or Command K, it automatically in Google turns it into hyperlink. So I could have done either one and made it very easy to, to, to make my LinkedIn profile 
accessible to everyone who gets an email from me. By the way, when in Google, you also have to go to the very bottom when you get done adding your signature and you have to hit save changes. And then when I go to create an email, again, just as in Outlook, there's my email signature and there's my hyperlink to my LinkedIn profile. So when the user clicks on that, it'll take them straight to my LinkedIn profile. Regardless of what email client you're using or what email address you're using, I encourage you to put your LinkedIn profile URL, either as just the URL or a hyperlink on text. Put it in your email signature. You want to make your LinkedIn profile accessible to everyone who is relevant to you in lots of different ways. And if you're emailing people, then they are obviously relevant to you in some way or another. I'm Teddy, your LinkedIn strategist, trainer, and coach. Hope these ideas are helpful for you. Before you go, let me share with you a new program I put together, and this is a webinar series. It's two group webinars with bonuses, and these are really focused on business professionals who want to quickly get into some of the best practices, tactics, and philosophies of using LinkedIn purposely focused on their business goals. So I put this together where the first session is all about helping you get focused on your target audience and their influencers and help you get focused on the right words you need to use so you can build out the most professional LinkedIn profile that you can. Then the second session, which is a group session, is we talk about the best practices and tactics of networking on LinkedIn. We get into conversations about social conversations and social sharing. And we also touch on the importance of social listening using Sales Navigator and on LinkedIn. Now, everyone who shows up and registers for this webinar series will also get all four of the eBooks that I've produced for my corporate accounts. But furthermore, I'm also providing another bonus, and that is everyone who signs up for this will also get one hour of, of personal one-on-one -on -one coaching. That's where we spin out of the group setting and when I talk with you deliberately focused on your needs and your goals and helping you overcome your challenges using LinkedIn as a business tool. I put this together for business professionals who don't have enough time to do my bigger programs and they want to really start mastering using LinkedIn as a business tool today. So this is across two weeks at the most, a day a week. I'm going to give you a lot of value, going to give you a lot of resources and help you master using LinkedIn so that you can grow your business, so you can grow your book of business, so you can grow your pipeline and start getting real value out of the use of LinkedIn as a business tool. So check it out. Set, feel free to send me any message. Ask me any questions about the program. I'd be glad to help you understand what I'm trying to do to help you. And I look forward to you showing up to one of these webinar series that we do. Thank you.